I went ahead and I dyed the bow, but I didn't like the way it looked. It was too light. So I went and I took off the dye, and then I went ahead and I actually painted the bow with a latex, an exterior latex paint. And what I did was I used a brush, and I don't know if you can see, but I went over multiple layers with the brush to kind of give this bow a little bit of a weathered look as if you know it's been used or outdoors for quite some time so it kind of has a neat almost wood grain look to it so to complete this as you can see here it is all finished now to complete this the uh, the bow from the movie has wrappings on it so it has five pieces of wrapping there's one about here one about here one about here one about here and one about here and the way it goes is from the top limb of course the bow gets flipped over a couple times during actual film you know during screen time but you know that's how it goes from the top it's dark light dark light light what I'm going to be using is some uh, fast flight some wax fast flight for the dark bands and some nylon thread wax nylon thread for the lighter bands and this is really simple what I'm going to be doing is just making the five bands about an, a half an inch wide so I'm going to wrap one so you can see then we'll go from there so it's really simple I'll go from the handle and then from the end of the handle I'll make a fist and then right above that is where I'm going to start my wrap so I put two fingers there and you want to wrap this about the width of a finger so you just start wrapping and you want to wrap over the piece you have down there so I'm just going to keep wrapping this till it's about a half an inch or so alright so here's the first band So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up the end here real quick. So I'll show you how to do that. So I cut off about a foot from the end. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to mar the finish. Otherwise, I'd just take a loop and pull it through. So you make a loop with your finger. You bring this piece over and around and inside the loop you just made then you want to go and stick it to the bow then you take the rest of this and you start wrapping around like this what you're doing is you're moving the wrap from one side to the other you can see what I'm doing so you see that? I'm just moving the wrap from one side to the other. Once I've moved about a third of it, I take the end that I stuck to the bow, bring the end up, lay it down, and then I move the wraps back over. So here's the loose end here, and I just move the wraps back over. And that way I'll be able to get a nice tight wrap while still pulling the loose end through. Alright. So now that you brought it down here, you just pull this through. Pull it tight. Take your loose end. Pull that tight. And then you just trim these. And there's our first band. So I'm going to put another one right below it, except 
I'm going to do lighter color and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom except black, light, white. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've finished up my wrappings. You can see those are the top wrappings and the bottom wrapping. So here's the finished bow. So I think it came out pretty good. So one final thing I did is I put a little oval of uh, Velcro right here so that when you hold it, part of the Velcro is covered by your hand. Your hand rests about halfway. So you actually be shooting off your knuckle with this. And you could put a shelf on here if you wanted to, or you could do what the actress does in the Hunger Games movie. And at some point, when she's actually shooting this bow, she'll have her hand wrapped in what looks like cloth or leather or part of a glove. So that way when you're shooting, it's not resting directly on your hand or something there. No, it's your choice. It's whatever you want to do. But here it is. So just so you guys can get a good look. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.